we live in a place where people are scared to see their doctor and that has nothing to do with their doctor. I mean, we want to help you. That's what we are here for, but our laws are killing people. My mom and dad had always told me the importance of giving back to people. They were immigrants and really expressed the importance of community. And I wanted to be a part of that community. And I thought to myself as a doctor, it would give me the best ability to impact people's lives when they were most suffering. And I love medicine. It's gotten to the point where the business and politics of medicine have squashed this thing that I really loved and made it really hard to actually take care of patients. When I made the decision to run that I had been on the phone for two hours trying to get a medication covered that had been previously covered last year, and this is crazy. And it was really clear that I had reached the limits of what I could do medically for my patients. In order to help them, I needed to come up with a new way of changing the laws and changing how they got care. So I made a decision to run for Seattle City Council um, in 2017 on a platform uh, that was to build a citywide healthcare plan. Everyone who lived in Seattle proper, whether they were documented or undocumented, would have access to medical resources at any time that were covered. It was really that simple. If we could start cities into a healthcare program, and if we could find other cities who wanted to buy into the healthcare program, that we could then develop a network and that network might turn into something like a statewide healthcare plan where everyone is covered. But it started as a city idea that if we chose to talk about our values as opposed to how we're going to pay for it, that we could create something pretty amazing. So I ran and I had no idea what I was up against. I was up against these political machines that are designed to put special interests into positions of power to create the change that they want to see. And ultimately, those are the decision makers. What was really clear is no one was listening. We are adjourned. I didn't win the election, but I became more politically engaged than I'd ever had before. I was very aware of who were the decision makers and who were the players. And I knew who was deciding and I previously had been really immune to it. And, and to be really honest, prior to 2017, I had not been interested in politics at all. 2017, I decided I would know. I would know who are the people who are making the decision to prevent the things that I value from happening. And I would find out who they were and I would work to replace them.